Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA, and today I'm back with Mitch from The Crazy Painters, Kelly and Sons, and this extraordinary Camaro that I've been really, really looking forward to shooting. Now, mm. I asked you about the Chevelle, and you started with the 70, then yeah. got the 69. I traded for the Swiss 69. Swiss cheese car. Right, yeah. How was this when you started? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Yeah, and in fact, uh, I met this guy at the Rodale show. Oh, okay. He, he walks up sure. and he's looking at a 57 I did. He goes, uh, I got a car. It's been in the body shop for 12 years. I owned the thing in high school. These guys are not getting any work done on it. Do you think maybe you could, you know, do some work on my car? And I said, well, absolutely. Yeah. 12 years, I was feeling bad already, you yeah. know? Yeah. So anyway, we got the car and it had a paint job on it and I started cutting it in, full of Bondo. Oh. The whole rear end got hit in the side and they never really pulled it out and straight. So the car was crooked from the get go. Okay. So we started pulling it and straightening it. And he's a Porsche race car driver. Oh, okay. So that was a little intimidating too, because I'm like, I'm going to build him what, a dog? Drive. No, he has to have something that's going to run, right? And maybe come yeah, and handle. have some handle. Yeah. 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 And, and, and so this car actually became more of my first car to build it from a drive standpoint of, you know, from horsepower to suspension to brakes to all right. the things that you want to race a car with right. is Absolutely. in this car. You know, and then we turn around and throw a paint job on it. So really, you know, it's a it's a race car with a paint job on it. I love that. Yeah. I love hearing that because it does yeah. look like it could just be a show car that's show car. point straight and go, but don't try You're to turn it. You're going for a ride thing. in it, you know, and you'll, you'll hear it inside. Oh, it's I a it's wait. a friggin' race car. I that's can't what it wait. is. Yeah. So what do you have under the hood? What have you done? We got the LSA from, from Pace Performance. Okay. And it was kind of neat. One day I was at SEMA and the head of Chevy Performance was standing next to the Lingenfelter guy. I started talking about a motor and the Lingenfelter guy, what are you doing with this? Why don't you bring me the motor? I'll do it for you. Mike Copeland. Okay. Okay. Mike says, bring me the motor. And he took care of me. To get an LSA motor, 640 horsepower, whatever it is, yeah. when they're done, this thing's a monster. Just really? a monster. So much power, so clean. You know, the way that it runs, it, I'm, I'm blown away by it. So is this a stock LSA? Or? No, it's the Lingenfelter. It's a, it went to Lingenfelter and you know, those guys do wonders. I popped the head cover, the, the valve covers off and looked. It's beautiful in there. Yeah. You know, it's all the lingo. Sometimes it's goodies. a shame to have to cover up what's going on <sighs> on the internals, isn't it? Because I know he took care of me. He yeah. really put a bunch of good stuff in here because this thing runs like it has it in there. So, yeah. header down to exhaust. What do you got going here? Because I already see, like, you got some color going on here. Yeah. So, the, the, the headers are porcelain painted. I've got the blue exhaust underneath this thing all the way back. Now, the headers themselves, these are hooker headers. They okay. helped me get the headers, but they would not fit in here with this whole thing. I mean, that they, oh, really? they didn't actually sell a header that worked on I mean, it. They, they, they said, we got something close. So we had to cut for the steering and all the stuff. And, and I had a, a good buddy of mine, Dave at, uh, at P3. He does a whole uh -huh. bunch of fabrication. Mm -hmm. He's the one that kind of cut it all and, and got it all to fit. So okay. Okay. Uh, that's a one-off header, which wow. we know about these days. Yeah, you know? yeah, uh, yeah. Some of the stuff that they're building now, these guys are building it for the frame. Everything's just right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, 750, yeah. 760, somewhere around in there. You know, they, they, they say their, their kit produces 750. So I'm hoping I got that right, you guys. But yeah, yeah that, and, and it feels like it. It yeah. really feels like it. I remember you saying that before, like yeah. in contrast to the Chevelle, which is still plenty of power, if I remember correctly, 513 at the tire on that car. Yes. So this one at 750, you're more in the 600 to the tire. Something, yeah. I mean, what are we losing? 90 horsepower to 100? I mean, Something isn't it always like somewhere between 15 and 20% is a safe yeah. estimate? Yeah. Okay, so other performance stuff besides engine and trans. Tell me, I mean, especially being that this guy races cars, so he wants something that's going to work. So what do you have for brakes? What do you have for suspension? So yeah. uh, Detroit Speed. So uh, okay. Kyle, he races a 70 in all those races they go to. So he has been working car, on his yeah. car and building that 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 front the you know piece the whole sure. front end for this thing. Sure. And uh, so I got a hold of him and talked to him about it. And he said, Yeah, you know, we'll put it in your car. You know, you're going to SEMA. Great, a little bit of help there. Yeah. Um, we also did their four link in the back. Okay. I think it came with a Mosier. So Mosier uh, nine inch Ford is, is back there. So and that all had to be welded and put in. So when we got the Detroit Speed subframe in and we built connectors, so we, we actually have a full frame right. that's underneath this car. So the brakes, that was fun. Okay, so- uh, So we, this isn't another just bolted on and go? A little bit, kind of, no. So anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm working with American Racing and uh, I tell them I got these 15 inch Brembo's that I want to put on this car. Now, SEMA hadn't seen them, 2014, no one's seen 15 inch brakes on their hot rod. So it's just a ton of brake on Yeah, it. it's a lot of brake and, it, and it's real, it's nice. The pedal's really nice. Yeah. Probably the best pedal I've had. Really? Yeah, with okay. those electronic brakes. So that, now we got the stopping power. Got it, okay. Yeah. So it's American racing wheels. 
What what are the do you know your sizes on this? 19s and 20s. 19s and 20s, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And then what do you run? Oh, you got Toyos, those are great tires. Those right? are my guys, yeah. R88 8s. Yeah. 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 They're just gorgeous. Yep. I've driven on the R888 tire a lot and they're it's a very sticky it's a tire you can bang. It makes on. you go. I mean, it yeah. doesn't spin. I mean, you can spin them, but it definitely launches. And you got a big one back there. What, big what one. is that tire? 325, 35. Okay. And then what's up front? Like I don't know. 265, two, two, yeah, two, 265 or 245. Okay. Somewhere in there, you guys. Not as big as the Chevelle, <laughs> but I didn't do that whole inner fender wall. Those are stock fender walls. Inner, inner fender walls. Got it. So, okay. yeah. Okay. I, got I love how you kept the your Z28 but you added supercharged and yeah. it's not the emblem now it's painted in it's pan hand painted is that yeah. really yeah with my dad mm -hmm. yeah there's one on the back too okay so this is one where i always go back and forth on it cuz it looks great with no door handle customer asked for it got it mm -hmm. do you, are you no preference wise handle, do you like having uh, handles especially on a race car somebody needs to be able to get you out of it i agree you know i totally agree yeah i mean it looks great cuz you shave it you lose mm -hmm. that you know he liked uh, it. That's what he wanted. In fact, actually came a afterwards and said, okay, now I want to put like a BMW handle in there or something. And I said, it's, you know, well, it's a little late now. It's all painted. <laughs> he got over it. And I love that you, these are still the stock side views, aren't they? I've always liked that Camaro they're mirror. They're great, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're clean. I'm you know? totally with you. Yeah. Uh, that's not a mirror that I would go to an aftermarket because it fits the car so well. Yeah, always liked them. Just does. Man. Did a flush mount window. He uh, sure did. Brought didn't it up, you? brought it up, and, and we put the molding on it. This was this was in 2014. The actual back actually has to get cut. The glass actually sneaks right underneath the metal here. Oh really? So because at the time you couldn't shave these, and you couldn't manipulate them, they'd break. Hmm. So the glass actually comes right in here, and this is all welded. This is all welded. This is brought out so that it covers all that ugly that's behind there. Yeah. You don't really you see it. You got rid of your drip yep. rails, yep. which is such a clean look, man. Just add that. This comes out, and this comes over. Mm -hmm. You can't tell because it doesn't look like I did anything. No. But there, it's there. No, yeah. but I, I see it. I see it. We got a little bit of a wide body on the back so that those back tires get covered up. That's out so, about three inches. Okay, so here's one that I know for a fact there's some work going on here because this yeah. is definitely not how it was. Yeah. It, but it look, it retains the stock look. But Carbon not. fiber, molded it in, the fiberglass bondo, got it just, you know, nice and strong. It's doing really well. That's beautiful though how it's all molded in like that. Just, there's so much in this car, man. All right, let's dig into this interior, man. So right the away. seats are out of a Ferrari. Oh, come on. Yeah, they're they're say built seats, and so is the steering wheel. That's the company that makes a Ferrari seat. Wow, really? Yep. Hey that guys, was... in the last video on their Chevelle that these guys built, we left out a real important name, and it's got to be heard. Mark at Elegance Interiors did a fantastic job. I really. got a little thing I want to say to yeah. your people. The comments that I got back on the interior in the car kind of rocked my world a little bit. Yeah. Everybody's so nice and everybody's so complimented, you know, yeah. on what they're talking about. I mean, the, the honesty to what they're saying, it, it kind of took me back. Oh, yeah. this is a Ron Mingus uh -huh. interior. You yeah. know, it looks cool. Um, Ron did a really good job on the dash. Um, sure. I, I made a metal, you know, all the way from the front, all the way up and over. Yeah. And then we gave it to him and he, he did such a good job wrapping it. Um, and basically what he was supposed to do was just copy the seats and finish the rest of it out, you know? Yeah. So did a good job on the door panels and I, I love what he did in here. And the Super center clean. console is real clean. I mean, he's See where I put the key? Oh yeah, that's it's so cool. It's hidden in the middle. Yeah, so you can cover it up, you know? Well, you can move the ring out of the way. Yeah, no, I get good. it. Yeah, yeah. You know, also there's the, there's the computer, computer connection to do the motor sitting right there. You can hook it up and do whatever tuning you want to do. And your window switches right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. God, just class. Got the vintage air. And I drove over here. It's like 100 degrees out it's here. It's warm out today, And I man. put the air conditioner no on. No problem. Just, oh, it's so great. And the car yeah. runs at like Oh, yeah. It doesn't heat no up problem. or nothing. Yeah. Yeah, this, you got a little bit of audio going well, on. Well, and they, and they put subwoofers in the back. There's speakers all over this thing. I just, I, the, the last uh, Huntington Beach cruise, I just played the stereo on the thing. It's just so phenomenal. Awesome. Well, let's go for a drive, man. You got let's it. Let's go check it out. All right, you guys, before we go for a drive, we're excited to announce that we've got merch. We've got this really cool black shirt with orange logo design. We've got a gray shirt with black logo design. 
We've got trucker hats. We've got flex fit hats. We've got a sticker pack. And my favorite item, we've got a keychain. All right, you guys, let's go for a drive. <laughs> Got a good turning radius. I think it does. Like I told you, I build them with a suspension collapse. You know, build the whole thing so that the tires can steer. So you can okay? do a full lock either yeah. way. Yeah, it goes into a driveway. Stuff. Doesn't fuck anything up. And it feels, uh, you know, like you said, the guy's a performance driver. Yeah. It feels like it's a performance-driven car. So that is it for our shoot of this wonderful, wonderful car by the Crazy Painters. These guys truly knock me out. The builds that they do, the quality of not only the paint and body, which I expect to be great, but the cars that they build. They drive, they sound great, they run great, they stay planted on the road. I'm really, really, truly blown away by these guys and glad to be getting to know them and you know becoming friends with them. Hell, we're on our way to go get some dinner together right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Truly just a stunning split bumper 70 Camaro that gets up and goes in a quick hurry, man. Hope you guys had fun in this one. As always, thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.